Welcome back to the second part of the Rajendra campaign. We're going to carry on with Deeds of the Father. Let's go. As the great tiger falls, the scavengers come out to feast on its corpse. The empire is in turmoil after my father's death. To the west, the Sera and Pandya dynasties are rattling their sabers. In the north, the Chalukyas talk of vengeance, even as they lick their wounds from the last war. Yet, my greatest worry is the island of Sri Lanka. My father invaded the island decades ago, forcing its king Mahinda to escape into the untamed south. Now, Mahinda has returned to reclaim his old domains. All but a single town have fallen to his rebellion. If we lose Sri Lanka, it will embolden dissenters in every part of the empire to rise up against me. That cannot be allowed to happen. I must finish what my father began. All right, looks like we're gonna have some water play. Uh, Shalukias being Gujarat is straight up wrong. They were Kan Kannada speakers, Dravidian language. Ah, okay, interesting. Uh, land your troops in the Chola Harbor. Rajendra must survive. Ah, yikes. Rajendra is limited to the castle age and a population of 150. Your enemies will not wait for you to get settled in, so strike out quickly. You will not be able to produce villagers until you capture a town center from either Manoram or Plonaruba. Or defeat both players. Most of the island is overrun by Sri Lankan rebels, but pockets of Chola loyalists can still be found hiding in the jungle. Local villages can be persuaded to supply you with resources by killing the garrison guard garrisons guarding them. But their buildings can also be raided for immediate resources. So similar as last time. Dravidian skirmishers and elephant archers fire faster. Complement them with infantry for a low budget yet effective army. Rajendra is landing on the northern Sri Lanka with a small force of soldiers and must battle his way across the island in order to re-establish control. To the west lies the weak enemy town of Manoram. It will remain in feudal age, but having uh, been supplied by King Mahinda, it will still produce elephant archers in addition to their archers and infantry. At the heart of the, at the, heart of the island lies the fortified town of Polonaruba. It will be a fierce opponent with armies consisting mostly of cavalry, heavy infantry and armored elephants. A distant enemy exists in Ruhuna, in the southern part of the island. Its navy will harass your coastline, and should its army be provoked into action, it will send heavy infantry, elephant archers, and cavalry your way. The Chola forces remain in, your, in control of only one small town in the north. Once you have secured a foothold, you can expect them to send reinforcements and resources to support you. The villagers in the area want to avoid the war if they can, and destroying the local garrisons will force them to supply you with resources. Doing so, however, could make them a target for King Mahinda. The Sri Lankan rebel King Mahinda is rumored to be in the northern half of the island, but your scouts have been unable to uncover his hiding place. Okay, I think I will just uh, plunder the grey villages, so I don't have to worry about defending them. But uh, let's see. Whoa! King Mahinda is assaulting our only remaining settlement on the island. Hurry to shore, men, before the Sri Lankan ships catch up to us. Okay. Have been spotted heading this way. We must hold the walls while our navy defends the harbor. Okay. We fifty. I have four minutes to kill. Wait, so we have 3.33 minutes to kill Mahinda's attackers. Zero out of three waves of rebels defeated. So I'm supposed to just defend? Thought I was like in a rush to get a town center or something. Oh. I guess this is the third wave. Oh, I don't want to lose my bad elephant or armored elephant. Okay. 
Alright, let's check out quickly if we're allowed to uh, regroup, we will lose the entire island. Okay, so we have Find King Mahinda, uh, 0 out of 4 mana realm towers destroyed, destroy Polonarua's castle, capture or destroy enemy town centers, raise enemy buildings for resources, 4 villages liberated, increase morale by using Arar Genra in con combat. I like the, what I do like is that they encourage you to use... Oh, I can't do any upgrade. Uh, can. There's few lage. Although I have crossbow upgrade for some reason. Uh, they encourage you to use your hero in combat. I like that. Well, I best. Yeah, I want more resources. You can make light cab as well. It's not very impressive. I guess I'm supposed to take the mill or the trade workshop. Maybe both? These locals have done us no harm. And they will provide us with meager tribute. But I fear that if we do not plunder them, then our enemies. Okay. I will. I will plunder them. Maybe I'll take out the dock as well. Because the rest of this village will not pay tribute. Yeah. That was kind of the plan. Okay, we're getting solid uh, resources. I'm wondering if I should destroy more. Does it also make sense to destroy kill the villagers? I don't know. But I will do it just in case. True, and we're getting attack as well from Rajendra morale. I think it works even on buildings. Oh, we have ships on the water. Yeah, we can make docks as well, fishing ships. Uh, I'm sure there's a limit to how much you can fight and get so-called morale. I imagine anyway. So town centers. Uh, there's one town center here. Those are the towers. There's the castle. I just have to be aware that I cannot lose my hero. There's a lot of crossbows. Don't get too deep. We have a lot of attack on these crossbows, so they, they will trade amazingly. Guess we can even take the tower out so easily with just crossbow. I'm getting I'm working my way to a town center. Looks like the max you can get is plus two morale. It. I cannot make armored elephants, how am I supposed to make siege? Take the town center. That is the question. Elephant? Oh! Armored elephant, let's go! Okay. I'm happy about that. Uh, okay, we got resources from Grey for some reason. 
I've no idea why. Okay, we got one uh, armored elephant here. That's nice. Okay, blue has units patrolling there. Not to worry. I think I maybe should delete my the, the um, transport ships I have. They're just taking population right now. I could take a TC from distance as well. Why don't I do, do that? Oh wait, we don't have bots in our Ah, true. Never mind. So I wonder how much I should destroy. Maybe I get this base upon destroying the town center. Oh. Fine. Sounds good to me. True, they did say there were like loyalists around. That makes sense. Wait. Capture or destroy enemy town center. How do we capture a town center? Wait, I need to check if there's a way. After a town has been pacified, bring Rajendra to his town center to capture it or to destroy it to receive resources and free advancement to Castle Age. Raise enemy buildings for resources. Certain buildings give great rewards. Market, trade workshop, and town centers. Uh, do I want to take the town center or... I'm gonna try and destroy the first one. Just to get the resources, see how much I get. That was a solid amount of resources, to be fair. I cannot complain. Alright, so let's carry on. Although I probably want villages though. But what buildings was it again? Uh, markets, trade workshops, and town centers. But it did say every building gets resources to boost. So it makes sense to just take out everything. Let's make more elephant archers. I also get upgrades now for those bad boys. So we'll see if I get wood for this. Doesn't look like it. Oh, they're actually fighting in water. The theorists of die are very strong though. We should be able to hold this by choosing the genocide route. You know it. And I'm not concerned about doing so. Yeah, we'll just carry on. More reinforcements? Don't mind if I do. We're population cap now, though. I should probably get a village, so I have... Uh, get a town center so I can make houses. <laughs> Anuradhupura. My father told me stories of this jewel in the jungle, which he reduced to rubble during his invasion. Perhaps we can find something useful among the ruins. Yes, the gods. I thought we would have to hide in this godforsaken forest until the end of our days. 
You Cholas come and loot what my people have built over centuries to make it seem like the future is yours. <laughs> we all like that feeling. It is a comforting Sorry. lie. But death Sorry. will come to you in your house, as it comes to us all. Praise the gods. Yeah, we're getting a lot of units. We're getting a lot of units here. You have taken yellow village. I destroyed it though. So I cannot get a town center there. This looks nice though. The question is, are there more town centers? I guess purple will have one that I can probably just try to convert. Um, still have that bonus attack, so our units are actually insanely strong due to the morale. Resources are looking plentiful as well. Oof, look how fast we kill elephants. I do not mind getting that gold. What about docks? I guess docks will give resources as well. Uh, which village is the one remaining though? Be liberated. How is this guy stuck? Oh, careful. This one thing we don't want is our hero eating the castle fire. No bueno. Sometimes they like decide to attack the hero though, like randomly. Gotta be a bit careful. Oh. Okay. Oh, it was the docks, I guess. <coughs> oh, jeez. Okay, this is looking good. I'll continue using him as a scout. The population is dropping though significantly. I lost all my ship. Uh, not most of my ships. Okay, this time I'm gonna try and take over this town somewhere. So I'm not sure how much I have to destroy. Um, after a town has been pacified, bring Rajendra to its town center to capture it. If you spare our city, we will aid you in the fight against King Mahal. My father burned your yet it inspired nothing but revolt. I shall spare this city. And hope that my actions will yield greater loyalty. Reinforcements have arrived from the mainland. The northern half of the island is ours. Where is King Mahinda? The king is in another castle, your highness. Our scouts say that he has fled south to the Rohuna region. I hate how they play so many... He plans to hide in the jungle until I leave. Just like he did after my father's invasion. No. This will not do. Sri Lanka will not be ours until every part of it swears fealty to me. We march on Rahuna. I don't like how the game sometimes, or the campaign sometimes, plays like sev seven messages at the same time. Give me some time to digest things, please. Alright, what we have, what, what's the situation here now? They want us to march on Rohuna, we'll do that. Uh, is there a way to Rohuna from here? Or do I have to go all the way around? Okay, now we have... We have 140 population in the limit, if I remember correctly. Looks like there's a... Oh. Looks like we can... Uh, 
launch the siege from here. Apologies. <coughs> can get ballistics as well. And all the buildings and upgrades we were missing. Stable units. Uh, I can make a few. Yeah. Elephants. But they don't really contribute that much. That is a sizable fort, you know what? Let me just go back, build a castle. And not waste all our siege. They are the costly ones. Wait, you can garrison armored elephants? What? They're a siege unit. Well, it makes sense. There are elephants. But still, feels wrong. Just don't want to take any risks with uh, Rajendra. Achievement unlocked, King of the Sea, it says. I'm the King of the Sea, boys. Marius definitely. Uh, hello from Seattle, it's almost 9 a.m. here. Love to see you streaming. Thanks, Sergey. Appreciate it. Okay, let's march. I did herbal medicine. So, these guys should heal pretty fast. Okay, so good. I'm not sure if this is the path I'm supposed to take. I guess it should be fine. Ooh, we haven't done this. To be fair, my resources are a little bit scarce. They have a solid army. Uh, we'll just back off a little bit here until we get I need more economy. That's where you guys decided to go fish. Oh, projectile stuck in the water. Nice. Uh, where's my hero? Okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll add some more farms. Who is our weakest thing right now? Castle is not far, it's just one screen away. You can have a look. the crown jewels of Sri Lanka to a mountain fortress not far from here. If we were to capture them, it would crush the enemy's morale. I guess I know what's our target. First, need more troops. They keep spamming. So I think I can make elephant arches mostly. But they are healing now, and actually, you know what? Let's convert things. Why don't I convert things from them? Our elephants are stronger though, because we have the bonus attack. I'm not sure if I even want their units. I guess I still do. I'm not maxed out. Alright. Let's do it. We wanna go and take the, the mountain.
This is the last thing we're doing. Capture King Mahinda by reducing him to 100 HP. Yes, you wish. Yes, you wish. <coughs> Let's go make sure they don't have too many units here. That will take up my siege. Looks like it's not even fortified by walls. That helps. And we get the hill now. So I can't complain about this one. Be a little bit careful. Oh, wait, that monks? Wow, that kill! I converted my elephant, but I still killed him because he turned when he turned red. Oh no! Yeah, we should capture this easily now. Uh, this is a fun explanation. Uh, Sri Lankan records talk about how the stupas were where Buddha's relics were enshrined were cracked open. And the relics were taken back to their Chola capital. And that the queen was captured and her nose was cut off. Interesting. I guess I have to destroy it. Wait, oh no, just captured a relic cart. So where is it? I guess it's inside the castle? No, oh, there it is. Who will want to fight for Mahinda now? when he cannot even present himself as a king. All enemy units attack reduced by four. Let me lower the volume still a bit. I'm not sure why it feels so loud. Wait, it's reduced by four attack? That is insane. And it also said something else. Uh, Ruhuna will no longer train any elephant units. Well... I'm not going to take damage anymore, am I? <laughs> I guess we can also ignore uh, gr orange now and just go straight for blue. Normally I tend to like just, just take everyone out. Wait, if I lose this now, do they get it? Do I get minus four attack? Hopefully there's no enemy units there. <coughs> <laughs> you only have four attacks. Oh, that's so sad. Let's take this out first anyway. Just because why not. Morale reduced slightly indeed. Their ships have full attack though. <laughs> Villagers also don't lose attack. In case anyone was wondering. No, the villagers have full attack, but that. Wait, Twin Swordsman also has full attack. 12 plus 4. Hmm. Maybe it was only for the units that were on the map as we spoke, and not for newly created units. No, that guy only had... But he's had full attack. This makes no sense. It's very confusing. Rama succeeded only because Sorry. he was a god. Ungersittam. And you, young Chola, are no. Sorry. Sorry. I am no Rama, they say. Okay. Yeah, this is slightly confusing. Yeah, I think we're just gonna let's see. Ooh, I could take him out of town center, maybe. Let me just have a look around. We're gonna go straight for blue now. Capture King Mahinda. Trying to see what they have down here. Why am I doing this though? Rajendra cannot die. If he dies, I'll lose. 
it, in some way it feels kind of unnecessary what I'm doing, but I like to live a little, you know? Only for Rahuna's units. But still, these have full attack. The two and the swordman have full attack from Rahuna. Quite confusing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty much there. Let's just, uh, let's just go down here. Don't have to worry, bother. It's not a town there. I'll eat after this one. Food has arrived. <coughs> yeah, we'll just go straight for the for King Mahinda now. Should be a fairly easy catch. Have you ever heard about Rama and his army of monkeys? I have not, personally. Should I maybe scout the ocean a bit more? There's also like an island over there that I didn't really investigate. I will be scared if this army knocks on my door. That's all I can say. He's like not fighting back. I guess you can kill them from range because they're on like defensive stance or something. You wanted to. I'll be careful though, we don't want to lose Rajendra. Where are you? There we go. Bam! Oh! I killed her. You will live out your days as a prisoner in Tanjavor. And when you perish, so will the last hope of Sri Lankan independence. Okay. Get wrecked. Order has been restored, but at a high price. My army slaughtered thousands of rebels and pillaged their cities. The people here have suffered. But the fires of Sri Lanka will ensure that the rebellion does not spread, causing suffering on an even greater scale. I tell myself this. Yet, in my heart, I feel tainted. My hands are red with blood of these innocent people. This is not how I imagined the beginning of my reign. I find myself retracing my father's steps, walking where he walked, seeing what he saw. Did he once suffer the same qualms that I do? It is a strange image. The iron-fisted Raja Raja, struggling to balance the necessity for violence with a will to do good. It does not seem like the man that I knew. Then again, I never thought that these bloody hands could be mine either. Yet now they are. I wonder if you can do this one without taking town centers. Like just destroying them all and not actually capturing the town center. Let's return to the map. Uh, there's one bandit over there for some reason. Not sure if anything happens if I go there. Bottom side, eh, nothing special. There wasn't really anything else we could do here. Okay, cool. That was uh, the father, the deeds of the father. It was chapter three, chapter, chapter two, sorry. Chapter three is going to be Viper Dutz Bandit is in Maldives, I think. Uh, chapter 3 is Rising Star. That will be coming up next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for that one.